How are we doing guys? In this video I'll be going through how to play the game Ugolki, which I believe has Russian origin and means corners in Russian. So as you can see the game is set up on an 8x8 board and actually uses the same exact number of pieces as a game of checkers does. So if you're trying to play this game for the first time you can easily play it on a checkerboard if you have one. The setup of the game involves both you and your opponent putting your 12 pieces in your starting corner. In this example, I'm playing as white, and my starting corner is the back left of the board. The goal of this game is to move all of your pieces from your starting corner into the opponent's corner. To do this, we can do a couple different moves. So to start off, each piece can move either vertically or horizontally. In addition, each piece can jump adjacent pieces as long as the square on the other side is free. So right now I could click this piece and I could jump either vertically or horizontally. Part of the major strategy comes in in that you can also jump your opponent's pieces. So right now I could jump over this black piece here that is above my piece on the top right. In addition, when you are jumping adjacent pieces, you do not have to jump in a single direction only. You can jump vertically, and then on your next jump, jump horizontally. So right here, I'll click this piece, jump vertically once, and then continue my jump and move horizontally. So as I progress in this game, I'm going to be trying to think about how I can move my pieces in such in a such a way that I can efficiently jump my far away pieces such as the you know this piece back here or even further this corner piece at 1A to the opponent's corner so we're gonna just kinda continue through this game right now so here is a jump from my corner that's gonna get me pretty far I'm gonna actually move this guy out of the way real quick so as you can see, watch this. I can jump from 1A down here, through here, right here, and then over his piece to get myself there. So I traveled a lot there. But in addition, you got to be careful because the opponent can also make those same jumps. So if you have a nice path to jump, it is very likely that the opponent can also capitalize on that. And also it's important to state that each move, you have to move a piece. You can't just pass on your turn. You have to move at every step of the way. So one thing you could potentially do is uh, block your opponent from making a jump. So right here, his piece at E4 could jump to C4 and then to C2. So I could block that by moving a piece like this. In addition, he also could have moved his piece from D5 down and jump to D3 and then D1. But I'm going to also block that move. Also note, I don't think that it's going to happen in this game. But if he leaves one of his black pieces in his starting corner, and I surround him in such a way that he can't move that black piece out of his starting corner and all of his other tiles are filled by my squares that uh, gives me the win too because I can't physically fill uh, all of my tiles into his corner and I have them trapped so that also would qualify me for a win so this game is a pretty short game to play it takes probably about know five to ten minutes um, depending on how long you think about moves but it's very the thing I like about this game is it's very easy to learn um, and you can you know if you're tired of playing you know the basic games like you're tired of playing checkers on a board like this you can switch it up and play this game um, and easily teach someone that's never played this game how to play Alright, so now we're nearing the end of the game. As you can see, his corner up here in the top right only has 
three positions left. So I'm going to quickly try to end this game. And we are about two moves away from the win. But as you can see, he jumped. Oh, I don't know what the heck he's doing. Wow, that was a crazy jump. So I just need to move my final two pieces into position. And with this last move here, I have all 12 of my pieces in his starting corner. So that will give me the victory. So it's a pretty easy game to play. I think it's pretty fun, uh, easy to learn. Um, so I hope I hope you have fun playing.